Hello, uh, my name is Lin Jiang. Uh, today is March 24th, 2023. I'm here uh, with a multi talented artist and art collector, Mr. Uh, Liao Lingde uh, in Berkeley to, to talk to him about his art and art collection, especially the pottery he collects. Uh, so, Mr. Liao, uh, Thank you for taking time to talk to us. Uh, it's very fortunate to have you. It's such a deep knowledge of Chinese art, Chinese history, and as a practicing artist, to to uh, to give us some uh, your own observation and thought about uh, the pottery you collected. Could you? Um, Tell a little bit about how you started collecting pottery and any other Chinese art. Yeah, when I was uh, first moved to Berkeley, at uh, that time uh, I uh, I visited some kind of antique store around uh, downtown Berkeley. Mm -hmm. A couple of them they have Chinese stuff in there, and uh, they're relatively cheap because at that time not many people collect them, especially those uh, uh, in imperfect pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, in American center, they like everything perfect they collect. <laughs> but uh, from my point of view, I use the pottery as a reference for my own pottery mm -hmm. work. So I don't mind the broken or the imperfect. Yeah. So I can take, take advantage of that situation. Yeah. So this piece, like this piece, I I collect from the uh, antique store, old Orient called Eugene Antique Store by the Shalik. That has been long gone. And that that is the ashes. One time they used this as ash, the ash tree. You can see the burning oh. that is the uh, people using kind of ash tree. But uh, I got this one. This uh, this is uh, this uh, kind of like a early Ming piece. Mm. Yeah. How how could you tell this is from that Ming dynasty, which is quite yeah. a long time. Right. Ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 The the Ming piece, the the, the color, the, the the blue white color is very subtle. Mm. Is and this and this design is early kind of influenced by Persian design. It has the kind of like a have a kind of like a section design on the Persian pottery in that time. And the, the Chinese blue white is, is coming, is uh, actually is uh, influenced by Persian. Persian, use of Persians, mm. Kobo, and use of Persian uh, design, and uh, with the Chinese version of it. That's what it looked like, yeah. So that's the color difference you can tell. That's yeah, the because the Persian is very subtle, and then you can see the different period of time. Mm -hmm. This is the Ming. I mean the early Ming. This is what I got from China in the free market in China. Which year? Yeah, this maybe is it. 2010 or somewhere around mm -hmm. there. Yeah, this 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 is very very early of the version of Chinese pottery, the uh, blue white pottery, and Yuan Dynasty is like a, uh, 1300 around that time. 1300. Yeah, wow, that's almost uh, a thousand years old. Yes. Yeah, and uh, see the 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 the, the colors are very cobalt, very strong color. And very bright. The, yeah, very bright. And the design, the 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 line movement is so beautifully done. So even the it's piece of a broken piece, I love it. So I, I call yeah, it, it still yeah. represents history. It still yeah. represents art, even and though it's a fragment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have, you can find a, a perfect piece, 
uh, same piece mm -hmm. in the museum in in the in the British Victoria Museum or, uh -huh. or in China China National Park Museum. They have complete piece. Yeah. And so it looks like this pattern is a dragon, right? Right, right, you right. You see that quite often. Yeah. What does that mean typically? Have a dragon. A dragon in China, they they use they say it's a, the Chinese people is the de, de, descendant of dragon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And also dragon simplifies the, the royal power mm -hmm. of the, the all in all Chinese dynasty. Mm -hmm. That's, That's very nice. And, and this beautiful ways and and this is also another main pottery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's, you see, see, this is roughly kind of showing the the garden. Thing in the springtime, mm -hmm. you see butterflies. Yes, spring flying. garden with butterflies. Yeah, yeah. and the clouds there, and there's some uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the chrysanthemum. Uh huh. And the birds. Nice there. fat yeah. bird. Yeah. yeah. So there's the uh, all the like, uh, different uh, flowers and the uh, pomegranate. They all have a meaning in Chinese. The simple by Nanga Pumagran is a lot of seeds to indicate how you have a lot of descendants. Yeah, fertility. Yeah, yeah so right. you have a lot of seeds, so yeah. you have many, many children. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. What, what? There's a peony here. Peony? Yeah. yeah. It's very beautiful flower. Peony, flowers. Yeah. Yeah. is the, the king of flowers in uh -huh. Chinese. Uh, yeah. And it, it's a prosperity. Mm -hmm. in, prosperity? In, yeah. 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 And also the color is is very different in contrast yeah, yeah, with yeah. this one, right? See, this is this, this come from cobalt import, uh -huh. special cobalt from Persia. So it's very bright. Yeah, this is Chinese. This local is much more dull. Coal, yeah, uh, but local copper. Yeah. So they have impurity in there, so they're not so strong. Uh huh. Yeah. But also the 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 way the stroke is very mm -hmm. different. This yeah. is very gentle. That's very fluid. Right? This is almost I think original design for the imperial use. Ah. This is for local use okay. for the regular common people. Yeah. But this is for special for the imperial king. Yeah. It's, it's different. Very nice. <laughs> And this another piece I like uh, collected in the another store in used to be in the Sonona Avenue and mm -hmm. it's called Orientasia. This Orientasia, yeah. Asano, okay. Yeah, that's gone, long gone. Yeah. yeah. And this piece is also early, very early Yuan Dynasty, uh, early Ming Dynasty. And the speech about this piece is the, the way uh, the brushwork so sweetly and so accurately mm -hmm. that just one single stroke finish whole painting in one maybe less than five seconds just finish it. Wow. It, 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 That's it, remarkable. Really. You see the, the design, the look of the line from beginning to end so fast. And it's so so early Ming dynasty is around fourteen hundred or yeah, this uh, yeah right. Ming dynasty, you know, is Ming Dynasty started in, you know, let's find out exactly when they started. Show around. The Ming started with 1368. Uh -huh. This special, this, this, is, this piece is the Jing Tai Look, this is dated from the 1441. 1451. 1451. Yeah, Jing Tai Ah. Yeah. Because I have a lot of reference mm -hmm. on Chinese blue and white mm -hmm. work. They have said that this pattern was registered mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So they have dates. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Very fine, fine. Yeah. Um, this is the Chinese, the Burger collection. So. <laughs> yes. 
Brooklyn has a lot of connection with, with uh, mm. Chinese art. So here are some of the more recent examples, right? Yeah, right For example, right. this is a beautiful play from a friend of ours who just sort of family uh, passed down from his family. Yeah. Um, Let me take a look at this one. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah this had a phoenix in the in the design. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix like a like a female kind of symbol of female kind of uh, power against the dragon mm -hmm. symbol by the main power. Right, this is a female power. So yeah, Phoenix yeah, represents Phoenix. Yeah. a queen, typically. Yeah, the dragon, Phoenix. the king. Yeah. yeah. So you can see the yeah. Phoenix in, in the, the middle. middle. There's a very long Number. tail, bright tail. Yeah. 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 So, like that. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is probably more recent, right? It looks very shiny. Yeah, they right? also have butterfly and uh, uh -huh. and all kind of flutes and the flowers in there, all the symbols. And mm -hmm. also in the back, they give you the, they almost give you all the dates. Mm -hmm. They hear that they have a writing say, Zhongguo Guangcai, mm -hmm. the Cantonese colored, ah. from China Cantonese colored, colored in China. Yeah. But it is made in China. Uh -huh. and then especially the colors in Canton. What happened is that the original pottery is made in, in Jiangxi province. Then, then ex, and then the transport to Guangdong. Mm -hmm. Guangdong yeah. people put the, all, the, all the, the color on top of the original white plate. And this is a, a process called the, uh, second process of filing, which is a lower temperature than the original 12, 1200 degree, this original fried, and then so white, and come to Canton, they make a design on it, then go to King again, fighting much lower temperature, maybe 800 degree, mm -hmm. so it has the, the kind of color, bright color on the, on the plate. I see. This core. That's and, why they call it Guang Cai. Ah. Cantonese. But color. also they have the edge. Right, gold, right. Gold. gold. Put it on, yeah. That's for export market, right? And most like it because <laughs> they, they try. Like, uh, yeah, the, 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 you know, European people or Western people like very colorful uh -huh. gold. Yeah, the, the gold, the, yeah. That's a, that's a yeah. export model. Yeah. Right, export model. <laughs> Yeah, here is another piece which is very uh, kind of a uh, bright colored, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but also very interesting flower motif. Yeah, piano, uh, piani, yeah, piani, yeah, yeah. yeah flowers here. Yeah. And this kind of shape, you know, if you maybe uh, maybe fifty years ago, maybe hundred years ago, you can in a Chinatown restaurant to serve food with this. Ah, so, okay, and the day. In that time, all the things come from China. They have a stamp, stamp on the, the mark say China. Mm -hmm. That's the expo for. Okay. Yeah. So you can get a very uh, as a utility board. So this is more like a 1900. Yeah, yeah, 1900. yeah. Around that time. Yeah. yeah. So is this one very mm -hmm. typical? If you go to old Chinese restaurant, they serve with mm -hmm. this exactly. Yeah. So they yeah. have very <laughs> interesting color in, yeah. in the inside, right? Yeah. It's not common to see it in China. And I, at least when I grew up, I did not see this kind of color yeah. inside. Yeah, yeah. this is very typical for Expo, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the side, you can see the typical motifs, mm -hmm. the butterflies, the peonies, and, uh, yeah. and this might be some kind of mm, peach or... Uh, yeah, some buds, other yeah. flowers, but okay. yeah. And this, oh, this you can see, they have been worn mm -hmm. by 
by you know Use. household yeah. Yeah, being worn so so much, and of course this middle you can still see this uh, peony in the middle, mm -hmm. and they you have, have a bird birds, thing, right? birds and, and because they're using so much, they all color it's, fade out. Is yeah. that also because this is the second firing? The temperature right, is right. lower, right? Yeah, so they the lower the, temperature they don't keep they, as well. Yeah, they, they yeah. eventually worn out completely. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's some stamp in the back. Yeah, this is the same. They usually didn't indicate where the Q side they come from. Ah, the location. The, yeah. The, okay. the, the, this is very Zhen Xing. Zhen Xing is the, the, the name of this pottery, uh, pottery workshop or, mm -hmm. or dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they put the same on. Okay. Yeah. The, the, yeah. So this is around 1900. Yeah. yeah. This is a another very familiar. Very yeah, this, this is a Cantonese export yeah. world completely, yeah. Yeah. very typical mm. Cantonese export world, because there's so many uh, detail and a very very busy design from Chinese point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, they're showing the the garden thing. The scholar with visiting a lady, and there's a. See the, the servant around. Mm -hmm. and they, you can see there's a a scene with a gentleman approaching the lady who was inside the house, and mm -hmm. then and there's a servant that following the gentleman. It's kind of a yeah, dating it, scene, right? It could be, yeah. <laughs> the, the, this is in China, the, the beautiful garden, they usually have a kind of moon, moon like uh, garden, moon gate. Yeah. Moon gate. yeah. 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 Window, yeah, you can see, yeah. the, and lots of pavilions. Is, pavilions has a nice sort of a uh, railings, railing, right? yeah, this are really, decorated with yeah. car wood carvings or stone carvings. Yeah, so it's very, it's a garden, yeah, yeah. colorful. Yeah. Now, this large piece, quite yeah. heavy, this also, you know. Uh, they have kind of like an indicator which, uh, let me see, there's a same in the back. Oh, this is a Kangxi Nianzi. <laughs> Kangxi Nianzi means uh, early Qing Dynasty, which is talk about how early it is. Yeah. Kangxi, the name of the emperor. Um, yeah, Kangxi is the ring, the ring of Kangxi. Yeah. And that that's very early. That's uh, like a 1663, 1662. Yeah, but uh, this is, uh, of course, this is is made much later in 1900. They use the name, uh -huh. say this claim, this claim is a Kangxian made, but it's not, of course, yeah. But it's Chinese made. It's still the same process with the uh, two filing. One was a very colorful filing on the the original. High five, right? Yeah. But the pattern on this one is very different than the others, right? right you can right, see right. that the, the, the middle, I I can't tell yeah, yeah. exactly what they are, but yeah. can you? That, this round symbols? Yeah, the, yeah uh, of course, in the side, outside this ring, uh, this is a design mm -hmm. connected. The, the the connected flower design grass flower mm -hmm. flower grass design on the outside, but in the middle they have a kind of circle pattern of different flower different design. Ah. yeah, is a kind of almost like a freehand kind of development from the original. Yeah, it's design. different. Yeah, so different. I mean, like circle. this one. Design oh. or it's a more liberated kind of. So you can yeah. see the contra. This is yeah. from Ming. That's from Qing Dynasty. Very late. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah. become more freehanded do the thing they yeah. want. It's very far from the original. But there's also a lot more color, right? Yeah. So this yeah. is you know more of a yeah. I would say yeah. Blue white. Yeah. But if you turn over this one, mm -hmm. you can see the grass and the flower. Connected design was still reflecting here, ah, but a different pattern. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the they ring already... of roses. Yeah. This is a piece. 
I got in I think in Chinese flea market. Mm -hmm. Let me show yeah to everyone. You can see the back. Yeah. And also in the back. It is a very interesting piece. This this um this also uh Middle Ming Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And uh, see the 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 the, the piece was uh, oh. using in household, but they're all broken. See that? And then they mended it with the uh, with a metal metal step. Yeah, yeah. Okay. let me show people. Yeah. yeah, you can see it's actually broken and then mended by metal. Yeah, yeah. that's Stable. interesting. No, no. Yeah, I see that they have the in the old days the parties, even so many. Uh, party produced in the kiln, but uh, people still very precious treasure their pottery. Even the crack or the, they still have people come over to fix it. Mm -hmm. and the craftsmen specialize yeah, in yeah, fixing. They, they use Maybe, a little yeah. handmade drill, drill uh -huh. two little holes, but they drill through the, the thing to thin, but they didn't drill through the holes. And then they use the metal clamping together. Wow. So this hundred hundred years old is kinda of old design. Yeah. All the way to do yeah. part of it. Wonderful. Yeah. Very, very clever. I <laughs> do remember there are a lot of craftsmen traveling yeah. in my neighborhood. Right, right doing now, this kind of fixing thing. everything. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. part of Chinese yeah. custom. Yeah. Well thank you, uh, sure, Mr. Sure, Lau, sure. to sharing your wonderful knowledge and your collection. It's thank you. Beautiful to see that you kept up the tradition. Yeah. You know, we hope to learn more uh, from you about the other art you practice another time. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you.